what's up guys so it's been a minute it's definitely been a minute since i have posted any sort of content um and i truly have no one to blame but myself and my consistent and constant excuses and i realize that and I know that, and the only thing I can possibly do is admit it, digest it, think about it, understand it, and go from there and figure out how I can grow. Um, so I have technically missed two sessions of my 777, um, but I actually did post, well I didn't post, but I did record a video. Um, for last month, but because I missed the prior month, I asked a few a few people that I trust and uh, their opinions truly matter to me. And I had good feedback. I had really good feedback besides one person. And that one person I just want you guys to know, I'm like if you do know me, I'm like super, super spiritual and like super into, that's another topic. But before I started this video, I started praying because I'm like super nervous. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I started praying and I was talking to my grandma and my grandma comes in the form of a red cardinal, which usually means like a loved one, a missed one, a higher above in heaven and I was talking to her and I was looking around in my backyard to see if I could find her and she literally just flew right across okay I feel good I feel better I feel good still really nervous super nervous but now I know that she's here and I know that she's with me so I feel I feel a little bit better but like I was saying, I had that one person that gave me their opinion. And even though I asked other people and I loved their feedback and it was super nice and it was super encouraging, this one person totally, totally tore me down. And I know that it was just, you know, constructive, constructive criticism and it was, in an okay manner <laughs> um but i didn't like what was said so i didn't end up posting the video because of what that one person said when i showed other people and they liked it but because that one person fucked up my vibes in the way that i was feeling for that video because i liked the video i thought the video was awesome but because of that one person i totally shut it down and i didn't post anything and you, I know you've heard that where it takes seven nice comments or seven nice compliments to get rid of one negative comment. And my seven people, my seven other people just weren't strong enough to shake this one person. But you have to realize that's on me. I didn't, I didn't post that video because of that person. I thought I didn't post that video because of that person, but I allowed them I gave them that power. I allowed them to destroy what I was doing because they didn't like the video. They didn't like what I was preaching about. But that doesn't mean that those other seven people or even if I posted that video that it wasn't going to help somebody else. But just because I allowed that one person to get in my head and I gave them the power to do that because I gave them the power. We all have the power within ourselves. It doesn't matter. So because of one person, I didn't post a video instead of posting a video and changing who knows how many people's days, weeks, or months just because of one person. And we do that a lot. We 100% do that. And it's weird too because I don't even, not that I don't care about that person's opinion, but I knew that person was a little bit more critical and would critique me but I didn't know that it was going to be so harsh to where I completely shut down and didn't post it 
And by me not posting that video, I was super, in a good way, super overwhelmed with messages and people saying, some like, where are your videos? Um, I'm like, I'm re-watching your videos because you haven't posted anything lately. I need your vibes, I need your spirit, I need your energy. And that really hit me because like I said, that one person really like fucked with me. And then I started thinking like, oh my God, what if everybody else thinks like that? So now I'm giving my energy to the negative side and the people that don't like what I do instead of the people, I'm doing this for the people that wanna listen. I'm doing this for me. So I took away a video from you guys and from myself just because of one person. And we, we do that all the time. We do that all the time. We give our power to the wrong people. And it was my excuses. I constantly, this these couple months I've been going through a lot, but those are excuses. Boy problems, ugh. Okay, they're always gonna be there. I'm fucking 23 years old. They're gonna be there. Friends coming and going. Three friends that I thought would totally be in my life for the rest of my life. Our friendship just has has completely shifted. Completely. And it broke me. And it made me super, super, super sad. But I have to trust in him or in the divine energy or whatever you guys may believe that everything happens for a reason. So... One goodbye could be because a greater hello is on the way. So you just have, you have to remember that. And I have to remember that. I have to understand that no matter who comes and who goes, because people are seasons, friends are seasons, your life are in season form, just like earth. And you just have to trust with whatever is going to go down. You have to trust in the process and know that everything is going to be okay. He already knows what your end result looks like. So things that are coming in and out of your life, let it come in and let it come out of your life because he already knows where you're going to end up. So why question, why are you doing this to me instead of, okay, how is this for me? How is this going to make me grow? Instead of, why are you doing this to me? Why are you making me miserable? Why are you making me sad? Why are you making me feel this pain? It's called growing pains for a reason, baby growing pains so we can grow and another topic that I want to discuss is I've been super lazy super super lazy in what I want to do and I also have no one to blame but myself and I started writing things down that take my time away from doing these things and a lot of it has to do like I said boy drama friends um this last month i've been in between jobs so stressing like financial wise which you can't stress money comes and money goes don't stress that and i know that sounds crazy because it's literally like one of the biggest stressors there is but you just got to trust and just grind it out do whatever you got to do just put it in his hands put it on his lay it down he got you i promise he got you your divine energy your buddha you're whatever you believe in, they got you. They would never give you anything that you can't handle. But like I was saying, and when I have, another thing is like when I have free time, I should be doing this. This is what I should be doing in my free time because it makes me happy. It really does, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm feeding my soul food. But instead, what do I do? I lay down, I hang out with my family, which is nothing wrong with that, but I lay down, I get comfy, I relax, I watch Netflix instead of watching motivational videos. I listen to the latest music instead of listening to podcasts. I'll be on fucking social media for three hours instead of reading a book and actually educating myself on becoming better because it's easy. It's so easy. It's so easy. That's what I've been doing for so long. It's easy to fall in that pattern. It's easy to do what everybody else is doing it's hard it's hard to make movement it's hard to shift it's obedience it's to be disciplined and I'm not disciplined I know that I need to to create that and by me by me just giving it all out and looking myself in the mirror and you looking at yourself in the mirror and saying 
I shouldn't be doing this. I'm, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be watching Netflix. I mean, I know Stranger Things came out. I know everybody's freaking binge watching that. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's no shame in that. But if there are movements that you're trying to do, is Stranger Things going to make those movements for you? Is watching that for 24 hours, 48 hours, or whatever the case may be, is that going to make you get to where you need to be? Is that going to help you cross your finish line any sooner? No. It's not. It's, it's definitely not. And it sucks too because when I was looking at myself, because I... I do I try to do this a lot I need to do a lot more but when I am in the mirror and I'm you know like telling myself what I need to focus on because you have to realize you are definitely your hardest critic but you got to be your biggest fan too you have to you have to have to have to be your biggest fan because say you don't have fans are you nothing no you're definitely something I can't attach my happiness to anyone or anything because say if that person leaves me my happiness is walking out the door with them I can't allow that. I can't give you that power. I have to find happiness within myself. So if you leave or that material item, say a car, for instance, if I get in a car accident and my car is completely gone and say my car is my happiness and I invested $30,000 trying to make it a nice car and it's totaled and it's gone, I'm completely, I'm distraught. I'm, I'm, I'm depressed. And you don't, you don't want that. And your boyfriend or your girlfriend of how many years, of course, I know they make you happy. And if they don't, you need to get out. But <laughs> that's another story. But of course they make you happy. But God forbid they aren't there because of God's doing. Or God forbid they're not there because they want to walk out. Don't let them take your happiness with you. Stand on your own. Be on your own. Be happy on your own. So if they ever do leave, unfortunately, you're here. And you're grounded and you're still fucking happy because I was happy when I made that video I was I was super happy I was super excited I was super pumped to post it and then that one person totally like shot me down and was like you really think you're gonna become something from this you really think you're gonna make movements you really think people are gonna listen to you and blah 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 and sometimes it's good to hear that I'm not gonna lie sometimes it really is it's it's good to hear that because it's fuel but I didn't take it that way. Instead, I let it eat at me in the most negative way. It started making me question all of my movements. And you wanna know what's funny? I was thinking about it. Back in the day, he was my first boyfriend ever. His name was Josiah. And I'm pretty sure I was in like elementary school, baby, baby. And I loved him so much, loved him so much. Um, but unfortunately, because he was not cultured like I was, I had parents and people that I looked up to as a kid telling me that I can't be with this man and that I can't be happy with him and I can't go to the movies with him and I can't do this and blah, blah, blah. You think that stopped me? No, it actually made me wanna do it more. I wanted to rebel. And we do that. When our parents say we can't be with a boy or with a girl, we still do it. We don't care. You don't know, mom. We love them. We love them so much, dad. Like, you don't even know what this person brings to me, blah, blah, blah. But as soon as a person shoots down our dreams and says it's not going to work, oh, good luck. Which, by the way, when they do that, they're just projecting their insecurities of their failures onto you. Because if they didn't, succeed they don't want to see other people succeed because they want to be above you or they want to be equal that's why with people that are so successful they push for other people to be so so successful that's why they post all these motivational videos and all these podcasts and they literally tell you what to do and how they did what they did because they successful people want to help other people be successful but people that are not successful you're not going to be anything. You're not going to do anything with your life. You really think this is something you can do. You really think you can change the world? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But guess what? The only way I'm fucking failing is if I don't try. Only way I'm failing. So you're going to try to tell me that you love this girl, you love this boy more than you love your fucking self and your dreams. 
So if someone tells you not to go and do it because of blah, 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 X, Y, and Z, you're gonna stop doing and going for your dreams because what, because they said something? Fuck no, fuck no. You still dated that girl, you still dated that boy, even if it didn't work out, who cares? You still did it. So go for your dreams, go for whatever the fuck you wanna do. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. You're not a failure. There's literally no such thing as failing unless you don't do it. You don't know unless you try. You don't know the answer unless you ask. The answer will always be no. Ew, get away. The answer will always be no unless you ask. So just ask and just do and go and go and go. And don't let that one person or those multiple people that are going to be in your ear feeding you negative shit. Because guess what? It's just shit that they're talking. You're the one that gives the power to be negative or positive. So even if it's negative, even if what they're saying is negative, turn it into fuel. Now it becomes positive. Now you just made that negative into a positive because now it's fueling you and now you're making movements. So they were trying to be negative, but they actually ended up being a positive. Just do you. Do whatever you feel you were put on this earth for. And guess what? It's fucking hard. It really is hard to be in your 20s and not knowing what you want to do. And, you know, having boy problems and your friends and having, you know, parent issues or whatever the case may be of where you feel like you're so down and you're so stuck that you feel like you're in quicksand. And there's literally nothing you can do. The only thing to do is to keep moving. That's the only thing. Because if you don't fucking move you're gonna be eaten you are going to be eaten by everybody by everybody show them what's up show them who the fuck you are show up for your motherfucking self because guess what if you don't show up for yourself who's gonna show up who's gonna show up for you a motherfucking substitute teacher yeah okay ask our teachers how that went when we had a substitute teacher you know we were texting we were skipping class we were in the bathroom who knows smoking fucking doing who who knows who knows nowadays what the kids be doing but it doesn't matter show up for yourself don't let somebody else don't you dare put someone else in that position to show up for yourself because no one will ever work harder for your dreams than you will no one will ever care for your dreams the way you will so love yourself give yourself some love this is my some love for you i feel so good to be back I know in the beginning I started out rough because I was like super nervous, but I just have to get back in the flow of things. This is my first time and usually I'll stop and go and stop and go and stop and go and I don't want to do that. This was my first video. I did it. My grandma came across, gave me confirmation. I feel good. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any, if you haven't liked it, like it. If you like it, um, comment. I love to hear feedback i really do like i said even if you are going to be negative i'm going to turn that around and it's going to be positive you'll be my fuel so and i do like i do like constructive criticism i really do i do and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and if you could share this please share it and i just want you guys to know that i am so thankful i am so grateful i am so blessed and i am never stressed i love y'all